plenty more to get to. I want to bring up the James Houston stuff because I can't believe this is an actual conversation. Uh, and it was first kind of proposed from PFF, of course. Friends over at PFF, they just keep dropping new ideas. And one of those ideas is potentially the Lions trading James Houston. And, you know, good friend of the show, Doc, shout out to Doc, by the way. He put out an article, uh, SI.com, talking about James Houston uh, potentially being traded. Uh, and in the, in the article, uh, they write here, uh, well, preseason football is not quite the real product. There are still many different takeaways to be had from the action leading up to the regular season. Um, and this is PFF Brad uh, Spielberger. He writes, participation data can serve as a key indicator of a player's location on the depth chart, for example, which made Houston's 27 snaps snaps in the second half of preseason week two quite notable uh detroit's rested the lion's share of its starters no pun intended and top contributors yet houston handled a significant workload in the second half he all they also right here it appears houston may be the odd man out in detroit but the lions definitely wouldn't release a player with three years of cheap control remaining who showed a knack for getting after the quarterback on limited snaps last season many teams would be happy to take a flyer on a, de a developmental pass rush specialist coming off a season with an 88.2 pass rush grade Think about that for a second. Like, the guy had 17 quarterback pressures in, in eight sacks and just 92 snaps. Just, just let that sink in. And he's a proposed trade candidate. Now, I'll give you both sides of it, and then I'll give you my opinion. The, the side to kind of push for this would be, well, you know, maybe James can be an every-down player. Maybe he's a one-trick pony. Maybe he's a specialist who, you know, can't develop into a complete defensive end in this system with Aaron Glenn. Okay. But then there's the other part of it, which is like, yeah, getting after the quarterback is one of the most important things in football, period. And James Houston does that at an elite level. And he's under, well, contract's coming up, but still, he's not going to be expensive. And you still have a player who's only going to get better under control if you were to resign him, which I assume they will. So to me, it's much more worth it to keep James Houston and allow him to grow because the, the payoff could be insurmountable. But then there's the other side of it, Sam, where it's like, you know what? Maybe you sell while his stock's the highest. What, what's your take on it before I give mine? Okay, this, this idea that James Houston is anywhere near the trading block is complete foolishness. It's tomfoolery. It, they mentioned a knack for rushing the passer. Eight sacks in seven games, more than one sack a game. I'm, I'm guessing that is what they like to call a knack nowadays. That, I believe, is a little bit disrespectful to James Houston because, and I know this is PFF's proposal, I'm not knocking anybody in particular, but do people not understand what James Houston actually did last year? Eight sacks in seven games. Games. That's 1.144 sacks per game in terms of getting to the quarterback and sacking the quarterback. He was basically MVP Lawrence Taylor. I'm not saying as a complete defense, uh, as a complete edge rusher but he was. But that sample size is, that is ridiculous. That is not just a knack. That is all-time, all-time elite in a very, very small sample size. But still, James Houston last season had more sacks than Kayvon Thibodeau and Trayvon Walker combined. Trayvon Walker and Kayvon Thibodeau combined for seven and a half sacks in 29 games, while James Houston had eight sacks in seven games and for anybody talking about how oh he's not really good against the run he's a pass rush specialist I actually think he looked okay against the run in preseason by the way I get it James Houston did not get a lot of snaps last year he did not get a lot of run defense snaps he only got I believe 31 which is basically nothing about four per game but yep. still when you are that good at one of the most important things you can do on an NFL football field, you have to find a place for James Houston. It seems like just a week ago or so, we were talking about Aiden Hutchinson and James Houston as maybe your future bookend pass rushers, but now I'm looking at it as people are saying he's a candidate to be traded. And honestly, when you look at the edge rushers that the Lions have right now, Charles Harris. Are we really saying that Charles Harris is more valuable to this team than, than James Houston? This version of Charles Harris, who no. only played six games last year, who had one breakout year, seven and a half sacks, and a bad defense in 2021. But for the most part, Charles Harris has been a massive flop in the NFL as a first-round pick. You even got Romeo Okwara coming off of an Achilles injury in which the surgery was done wrong and he had to get it done again. He came back and performed admirably. But the days of 10-sack Romeo Okwara, I think, are done. He had a two-set game last year, but didn't do a whole lot else. John Kaminsky, we all like. John Kaminsky, I think, will even break out further than, than, than last year. I think he's a guy that you can move around the defensive line. He was third on the team in sacks last year and very good good against the run. I'm cool with that. Even Josh Pascal, who your, your guy, and I know that he has a lot of potential, and as a prospect, he was actually better and certainly more rounded than James Houston, but still... 
James, Josh Pascal, he had an injury last year. He didn't even like report to camp. He didn't even start the season on time. And when he played 10 games, two sacks, seven games, eight sacks. And then Julian Okwara, who actually made the team. I'm, I'm very, very happy for you, Jeff. But still, Julian Okwara is basically has done very little outside of having potential. I know in 2021, he had five sacks, but last year, again, just two. He had one two-set game. James Houston is a guy that has already shown that he can be elite at rushing the passer. Right. And I just don't understand why there's any talk whatsoever about him being traded. And if any fans of the Lions, I'm not saying you are, if any fans of the Lions actually support Lions this or fans. want this, I think you're crazy. I think you're ungrateful at this point. And I'm not I'm not accusing anybody. It's just James Houston didn't just have a knack for rush, rushing the passer. He had eight sacks in seven games, more than Kayvon Thibodeau and Trayvon Walker combined, the first pick and the fifth pick overall. Come on, guys. This is lunacy. James Houston will be a Detroit Lion for a very, very long time. Yeah, I'm glad you said it, Sam. And I'm going to get into it in a little bit here. Jake says, if you think there is any real concern that he wouldn't be able to replicate last season going forward, though, Jeff has a point about selling while the stock is high. And Jesse Adams says, and why would Brad give up a guy that can rush the passer to another team? They got James on a cheap deal. Um, Chris Gumper says, I can see Houston being traded. He's not as versatile um, as other defensive ends. He can't play inside and can really only play the nine. Yes, he's got good bend and can get to the quarterback, but that's it. Um, and for this one, Corey Berry, Houston is a one-trick pony, question mark. I'll take a guy whose trick is consistently getting to the quarterback. And by the way, I agree. Um, I'm not Thank saying, you. Well said. I'm not saying he's a one-trick pony. Just trying to give you the other side of it. Now, my opinion on it is keep James Houston. Why the hell would you trade him? And, and if, you're try, if, if PFF's indication while well, he's playing in the preseason, yeah, no dip. The dude needs to develop. That's why you play in preseason. Like, for people that take preseason as an indicator of whether a player will get traded or not, yes, that could be the case. But for Houston's case, you want him playing in the preseason. You want him to get better, right? To be, hopefully, a more complete defensive end. Now, there is that side of it. Can he replicate what he did last year? Well, I'll tell you what. In preseason, he looked just just as good. He did. Like, it, it, the, again, his bend, everything that was advertised last year with James Houston, it's still there. So I don't want to hear any of this BS about, well, you know, he's playing in the preseason. Why did he play the second half? Dude needs to develop. He's a six-round pick, and he had a, 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 the sample size he played last year, and what he did last year was incredible. But don't act like the guy's a finished product. Sure. Like, clearly he's got to play. So I, I don't take anything away from this. I think James Houston is James Houston's going to stay put. Brad's not going to trade him. It would be dumb to trade him unless somebody comes to you with a monster offer. Why sell him now? Like that, that to me, that's that's ridiculous. You re-sign James Houston, you keep him. Like for for a guy who had essentially in his in his sample size a sack a game, that's valuable in the NFL. Sam Flannel, is that every valuable? team in the NFL would take a James Houston. Is they that just valuable? Would. A sack a game, a little bit. Yes, of course it's valuable. I mean, I, I believe, and I can't quantify this completely by numbers, but I believe he had the most sacks per game of any player in the NFL. The only one who would who would be able to maybe challenge that is Nick Bosa. But still, JB, if you want to place a bet on over under for James Houston sacks at maybe twelve and a half, I know you'd oh, go over. Oh yeah, taking who can, it over. Who can you uh, look to for advice? Well, you know, there is only one. One man here at Woodward to go to when you need your lock for game day on college game day. If you should take the under for the Bears on Sunday or if you just need to know how many glizzies Joey Chestnut is going to house this year. And that man is Booner of Woodward Bets. Have no fear. Booner is locking in all football season to bring you the best picks possible only on the Woodward Sports YouTube channel. Saturdays at 11 a.m. and Sundays at 11.30 a.m. Premiering September 2nd. College football, he's got you. NFL football, you know it. Woodward Bets. Watch on the Woodward Sports YouTube channel. Thank you, JB. And I know of all the people pretty much in this building, very few people are higher on James Houston than JB. So what is your reaction to PFF saying that he is uh, maybe a sneaky trade candidate? I'm sure you're not for that. I, I am not for that at all. In the words of Stephen A. Smith, that is blasphemy. <laughs> that is just downright blasphemy. This guy is improving game to game. He's getting better. He even told you himself he wants to double his sack total in an interview we had with Armani and Edwards. If you didn't see it, definitely go back on our YouTube channel and check it out. But still, the man wants to be here. This is a Brad Holmes guy. I, I'm not giving up on this guy, and neither should the Lions. Yeah, no, it's ridiculous. I, I don't want to just address it. Um, I don't think they will trade him, Sam, and I don't think they should. I know this is the time of year where people just throw stuff at the wall, see if it sticks. This sounds like this was one of those things. I, I don't now, if Brad does it, I would be shocked. 
Because you think, Brad, this is this is Brad's guy. He drafted him in the sixth freaking round. And I know because he put him on the practice squad, some years were kind of trimmed off of his contract. But I don't even think James Houston's going to command a lot of money. Like, that's the other part of this. Like, I, I don't. I think it, it'll be worth it to re-sign him and to see what he becomes rather than trade him away now and then look back and think, man, why'd we trade James Houston? The guy's over there getting 10 sacks a year with whoever team he's a part of. If he can get a sack a game last year, now that's not sustainable through 17 games. But don't tell me the guy can't get 10 sacks. Sure. Like, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not the one of the guys that I've heard this before. James Houston will lead the Lions in sacks, get 15, 16 sacks. Maybe not that, but a guy who can get you 10 sacks? Just a pass rush specialist? Yeah, you'll take that. But you know what? You know what I said in a previous segment? I don't remember which day, but it was a little while back. Maybe there's also the possibility that James Houston is actually just a great pass rusher. Maybe can develop into a great defensive end as a whole. Maybe he's a guy that makes all pros. Maybe he's a guy that makes Pro Bowls. Maybe he's a guy that has multiple double-digit sack seasons. All I know is you have to give this guy a chance to, to show it because in his one season, he had more than a sack per game, which is, and I, and I can't not stress this enough that is mind-bogglingly great that is all time all time great and I get it short sample size I know a lot of people are gonna say short sample size but give him a chance with a full season to maybe see if he can get double digit sacks because I personally believe if James Houston isn't on this team which I think he will by the way then I all of a sudden have some major questions about their edge rushers. I think it's one of their best and deepest positions as of now, but a lot of that is contingent on James Houston being at worst second on your team in sacks and your second best pass rusher. And there's there's a pushback, and, and this is a, a solid point. I, I mean, Born in Spain uh, says if he gets 12 sacks and is asking for $15 million a year, what are you going to do? Is he going to walk for nothing? I mean, if he gets 12 sacks, uh, number one, I think he'd be ecstatic, and he'd love that. And Brad would try to find a way to sign him. But if you're as if he's asked for 15 million dollars, like yeah, well, at that point, you're in a situation. There's the other part of this too. Like, you got Jonah Jackson, you got Amon Ra. Maybe they resign Jared. Who knows? There's more guys they're gonna have to resign. I don't know if James Houston, but if he gets 12, maybe he's a priority on that list. But that again you can't keep all these players we know that already like that that's you're gonna have to let go of some guys that are that are good football players in the future you can't pay everybody maybe james Houston ends up being one of those guys who knows but again that's we're all just foreshadowing if he has 12 sacks hell yeah Everybody's ecstatic. I mean, if he has 12 sacks, I think the Lions could be competing for the one seed at this point because their defense may be sniffing the top 10 at that point. Because I, I, I already think Aiden Hutchinson is going to have 15. If James Houston has 12, that would be that would be the best edge rushing duo in the NFL right now. And I think we would all take that a million times out of a million and let the whole money situation work itself out. Because I think every single person listening right now, no matter what he would command, no matter if you lost him for nothing down the road, would take a 12 sack season by James Houston. Oh, yeah. That means he's he's borderline Pro Bowl at that point. It, that would be unbelievable. And, oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! And also in that, I mean, if you're talking James Houston getting 12 sacks, the question is: Is he a complete? Is he playing on rundowns? Is he is he a guy you could play uh, more often than he's already playing right now? Because that's the if I'm signing you for 15 million dollars, you're not just a weapon. Like now, I expect you to be out there every down. That's a question that Brad and, and, and is going to have to evaluate with James Houston this year. Is he going to be a guy that you can trust um, on run plays, which I don't think he is that right now. So, mm -hmm. And that hurts his value. I mean, you can get sacks and you can ask for money, but if you can't defend the run, you can't be solid against the run at least. What are, I mean, you're essentially just paying for a specialist, which I don't think he's going to command $15 million to do that. But maybe I'm wrong. You know, but if but even if he does just turn into a pass rush specialist and gets 12 sacks, I will take that a million times out of a million. I don't care how well he plays against the run if he gets if he has a 12 sack season. No, well, I, yeah. I got I got.